What's going on YouTube? Uberan here. I wanted to read an article to you, very short article, and I will be posting a link to the article in the description for you to read if you so choose. Um, this article was posted June 23rd, 2016, and it's called Upfront Fares, No Math and No Surprises. Imagine buying an airline ticket without knowing the full price until the end of your trip, or booking a hotel room online and being told that the real price would be 1.3 times. Yes, that sounds odd, but it's what happens with many Uber trips today. We've moved to upfront per trip fares, just like airlines and hotels, two years ago when we launched Uber Pool. Riders needed to enter their destination so we could match them with other people headed the same way. This allowed us to calculate the actual fare in advance and show it to riders before they booked their ride. Knowing how much a ride will cost in advance is clearly something riders appreciate. Today, Uber Pool accounts for over 20%... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> 20% Uber Pool. Ugh of all rides globally, and we now want more riders globally to benefit from this feature. Great. So in April, we began slowly introducing upfront fares for regular UberX trips in cities across the U.S. and more recently in India, with more to follow. Today, hundreds of thousands of riders have experienced upfront fares as part of this rollout. Upfront fares are calculated using the expected time and distance of the trip and local traffic, as well as how many riders and nearby drivers are using Uber at that moment. And when fares go up due to increased demand, instead of surge lightning bolts that pop up and pop up screens, riders are given an actual fare before they request their ride. There's no complicated math and no surprises. Passengers can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Now, that is the article in its entirety. This is from Uber's newsroom. Um, so it is what it is. Now, let me let me explain to you how it's actually playing out, how it's actually working. And I've 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 talked to many, many drivers and this is unanimous. So I feel very confident bringing this to you. The way it works is a passenger requests a ride and then Uber overestimates the time and mileage that it will take you to drop off the passenger. If the passenger accepts that amount, then you will obviously, in most cases, get the passenger to their, de their destination quickly and safely, which will be well ahead of schedule, um, at which point the, you would think the passenger would be charged the lesser amount. But no, the passenger is charged the upfront fare that they were quoted, that they agreed to. In the meantime, you only get paid the per minute, per mile percentage that Uber agreed to pay you. So what happens to that extra money? Since Uber overestimated the fare, the passenger is paying more, but you're still getting paid the same. And since it's your job to get them there quickly and safely and efficiently, um, Uber gets the extra money. They don't owe it to you because they paid you what they agreed to pay you. You understand how that works? Do I agree with it? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I understand from Uber's perspective that, uh, you know, they want to make money and this is another way for them to do it. And they haven't broken their agreement with drivers. So technically they're doing nothing wrong. I also understand as a driver that, you know, knowing that I'm doing my job and taking people where they need to go quickly and efficiently, um, is actually benefiting Uber, but I get nothing from it for, you know, me doing a good job is benefiting Uber's bank account and I see nothing from it at all. I'm still getting paid the same measly 70 cents a mile and 11 cents a minute. Well, I'm not even getting paid that, right? I'm getting paid 80% of that. Um, I <laughs> mind blown guys. I'm, I don't know. I just wanted to bring this to you and I've been hearing from a lot of people in these areas that surge pricing is drastically dropping and in some cases disappearing altogether, I have no doubt in my mind that there is a correlation between upfront pricing and surge pricing disappearing. So I don't know. Um, comment below, guys. I'm desperate to hear what you have to say about this. If you're in a market that has um, upfront pricing, please tell us your experience with it. And I want to know most of all, how do you guys feel about it? Is this right? Do you feel that this is that this is right of Uber? Do you feel that you're being wronged by Uber? You know, honestly, I just want to know what you think. Um, like I said, a link to the article will be in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.